Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review of the Corsair H60 High Performance Hydro CPU Cooler. This is a uh, liquid cooling system from Corsair and uh, is meant to keep your system cool if you're doing overclocking or if you're just looking for something that's better than the stock CPU cooler. Um, this is both compatible with Intel and AMD processors and today I'm going to go ahead and review it for the Intel uh, Core i5-2500K that I'm going to be putting it on. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I've already unboxed everything for you guys here. Um, this is the, uh, the CPU die. This sits on the, on the CPU itself and it actually comes with thermal grease. But I'm probably going to replace it with some Arctic Silver 5 that I typically use on PC builds. Uh, you can see the hoses here that run to a radiator. The radiator then connects to a 120 millimeter fan that sits on the back of your case and screws on like this. So I'm not going to run through the how-to installation. The instructions are right here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's easy as five steps. Probably going to take me less than 10 minutes to get this installed. So. What we're going to do first is run some temperatures on the core, uh, the sorry, the stock CPU cooler, and uh, see what we can come up with. All right, so here we are with the stock CPU cooler attached to my 2500K. Uh, as you can see, I've got this thing overclocked to four gigahertz from the stock 3.3, and these are idle temperatures. I'll go ahead and run a small uh, test on it to stress out the CPU and see what we come up with. All right, so I just started a Prime 95 torture test. This is one of the tests that pretty much max out your CPU as well as RAM, basically the whole system. So uh, this was just started less than 10 minutes ago, and you can see temps are already up to uh, over 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm going to go and let this run for another 20 or so minutes. We'll check back to see what kind of temps we got. Again, this is on the stock cooler. I've not yet installed the H60. All right, Prime 95 has been running for about 20 minutes now. I'm not going to go ahead and run it anymore. It's getting a little bit hotter than I want it to get. And I just want to show you guys a just a slight stress test, stock cooler and uh, to see the temperatures so we can go ahead and compare this to the Corsair H60. So it looks like we're just over 80 degrees Celsius right now and uh, let's see how we compare with the H60. Alright so here it is the Corsair H60. Pretty much the majority of the uh, noise I'm hearing right now is coming out of this new case fan that came with it and uh, it connects to the CPU uh, input on the motherboard so it's probably running at full speed right now. Uh, there's definitely some decent airflow coming out of the back and it seems pretty cold actually. Also my new uh, 570 GTX just got it. This thing's a beast. It takes up three slots. Alright, so real quick, I said I was going to use the Arctic Silver, but after doing a little bit of research online, it looks like the thermal paste that comes with the H60 is some stuff called Shinetsu X23. And uh, it's supposed to be the best stuff on the market right now, so I'm actually using that instead of uh, reapplying any paste. So uh, here we are with uh, it's idle temperatures. Looks like we're already about 10 degrees cooler than the stock. Uh, I'm not sure why the core, first core always looks to be hotter than the, the last one. Um, 
by a few Celsius. So, and it was like that also with the stock cooler on there. So we'll go ahead and run some stress tests with the uh, H60 on here. Again, this is a overclocked 4 gigahertz i5 2500K. All right, so we're about 10 minutes into the Prime 95 torture test with uh, the H60, and uh, temps are looking good so far. We're already about 20 plus degrees Celsius cooler, and it's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. So looking good so far. It's holding, it's holding right at 60 on the on the core one and about 55 on the fourth core so um, I'm going to continue to let this run I'm going to actually let this run for another 20 or so minutes and we'll see if temps uh, increase anymore alright so Prime 95 has been running for almost two hours at this point and if you look at the temperatures looking at about 57 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit or sorry, Celsius and 140 degrees Fahrenheit max. So that equates to about 20 degrees cooler Celsius than stock and about 35 to 40 Fahrenheit. So, so far this, uh, this cooler is definitely holding its own. All right, so there you have it, the quick and dirty comparison test between the H60 and the stock Intel cooler. Again, this is running on a overclocked i5 2500K. And uh, as far as price price range of the Corsair, uh, it's going to set you back about $75. Now, that, that puts you in the price range of some really high-end heatsink fan combos. Uh, the reason I went for this for my system was... The low profile that it gives. I wanted to try out a liquid cooler and the ease of installation. Um, just the combination of those things alone. This this uh, Corsair H60 makes it definitely worth it. I'm not going to say it keeps the system cooler than those other uh, systems, but as far as what you're getting for the price, the H60 is definitely recommended not only for gaming but just for everyday use so uh, the idle temperatures I'm not so much concerned about the uh, loads the load temperatures were uh, were fairly sufficient compared to the stock so if you guys have any other questions definitely hit, uh, feel free to hit me up on YouTube uh, send me a comment I'll be glad to respond and uh, again thank you for watching